I'm Joshua Hamlin, and this is another useful plant. This plant here is the elderberry plant. Um, it's pretty common. Most people know it, I think. These things, this has already been picked at by the birds. So this, there's normally there's giant clusters. This one's a little better to see. Um, these berries are edible. Um, they taste pretty good. A lot of people don't like them. I think they taste like gym socks. Uh, they don't taste that great raw. I like them raw though. I eat them raw. However, you can improve their taste by adding sugar. You can make elderberry jelly, elderberry pie. Elderberry wine is pretty common and a favorite of a lot of hillbillies. <laughs> the, the plant's useful for other things though besides just that. These big heads here, um, before they have berries on them, they have these big white flowers on them. You can take these white flowers, cut them off, dip them in batter and fry them and they're just delicious. They really are. The leaves of this plant are poisonous. You, you can't eat those. You can, however, use them because um, they make a pretty good insect repellent. You can crush them up, rub them on your skin, and it'll keep away mosquitoes. They don't like it. Another thing, this plant's good. It, it's not deadly poison, by the way, so you're not going to die from rubbing this on your skin. You're not going to die from eating it, but you will probably get sick. Another good thing about this plant is it's hollow. I use it to make flutes out of but you can use it for whatever you would need a hollow piece of wood for. Um, they have pith in there. This, this, the pith is already rotted out, but on this side you can see the pith. It burns out really easy, or it rots out on its own really easy. So if you find this, this tree dead or whatever in the winter, um, get one of these big branches for making flutes. It works really good. That's it. That's a useful plant. Elderberry.